Hello my YouTube and internet friends. My channel is all about showing you how you can do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. I make easy to follow process tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media. My name is Ilona, better known on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and WordPress as Picture for Life. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to follow me on my creative journey. I'm all about keeping it simple. So join me for a new, fun and low budget mixed media project. I got a question how I made the inside pages of my book and also how I did the binding of the book. So today I will be making a full tutorial for the whole book that I made last week. And you can find a, a link in the description or a card that's popping up that will take you to that video. So join me this week for my full tutorial video for this cute little dye journal. It's super versatile and it's so quick to make. It's kind of a little journal where I will be doing some mixed media in. And I also will show you how I made the pages and how I did the binding. I made a really easy binding. So I'm calling it my easy to hold list string binding. Because it's absolutely so easy you won't believe it. I have not found this particular binding anywhere in my search. It's possible that it's already existing, so please let me know if you have a clue how this, if this binding exists, how it's called. I took some A4 paper and I cut them in half and those halves I'm going to fold over. I'm 
pages and then I'm taking an envelope I need to make it fit my pages Pages. I'm taking some glue. Make sure you don't glue your inside piece to your outside piece. So be careful where you place your glue. Glue it shut. And then Cut a really tiny piece off. Of both sides. And then have two parts. Now you make your stack and just see how you want to place your envelope. This one can handle a little bit thicker paper and just eyeballing it roughly in the middle and punch. You take your cover, put it on, measure so it's in the middle. rolls and this one is big enough to get my covers as well that's one then take my back cover Do exactly the same So that's basically my uh, book and I did my front here separate I also made one where I did my cover on the cardboard directly and then of course you get your inside and outside cover white in this case and I was lucky enough to find a box with this beautiful lilac color that's fun because then I can either use it as the back and the front or I can do it like that and I have already a beautiful inside cover so I'd, in this case I chose to do it lilac side up and make my cover and when I put it up I have to get my holes but it's not finished so I will finish this now so I'm having a little bit of oil and I'm going to do the technique he did as a kid to make your image translucent when you put it on the window you could see through So if you like to see more low budget mixed media and art channeling, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you know when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and I have a blog on WordPress.
So now for the binding. We stack our book together. And I just now decide that I want more pages in it. So, there's my stack. I just have a simple string and I use some glue on my edge so I can easily feed it through. And we start at the bottom and we go in with our string from the back. So from the back to the front and then from the top to the bottom on the top hole and then I'm gonna push it back so I can see my hole pretty well and I get my string from the side and push it from the top again to the bottom. Okay, then I'm turning it over. The same string and I'm pulling it. This is the bottom hole. So this is the back, from the back in the bottom hole. Feed it through the hole. And then you have your two sides hanging off the side and I'm just tying a knot on the side. And I'm not going to do it really strong, I mean, I make it like I can still get it off. So if I want to work on one of my pages, I can. And then oh, you need to help it, train it to uh, open so what I do is just where it needs to open I give it a little fold you can score it but I think this works just as well I can put some embellishments on my rope if I wanted to in my case I don't because I think I'm gonna work in it for a, a challenge each month so in my case it's handy if I can still uh, get my pages out to work on them so that's my little book with an easy two hole folded sheet binding thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and I hope to see you back with my next video don't forget to subscribe bye bye everybody